Good morning. Our entrance and upon, may we never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the word of the cross is the power of God to us who have been saved. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to you the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, source of and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs Saint Andrew Duclac and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, there was a white cloud, and sitting on the cloud, one who looked like the Son of Man, with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in hand. Another angel came out of the temple, crying out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud, use your sickle and reap the harvest, for the time to reap has come, because your harvest is fully ripe. So the one who was sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, who also had a sharp sickle. The other, another angel came from the altar, who was in charge of the fire, and cried out in a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle to cut the clusters of the earth's vines, for the grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle over the earth and cut the earth's vintage. They threw it into the great wine press of God's fury. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs his people with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall the trees of the forest exult. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the earth with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, all that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, teacher, when will this happen? What sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he. The time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. 
Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be powerful earthquakes, famines and plagues from place to place. And awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. The scriptures in this week as we move towards the end of the liturgical year, well, they point us to reflect upon, well, that time of judgment, the end of time. And again, certainly what we're experiencing as a nation and as a world these days in the midst of a pandemic, well, we can identify somewhat with some of the fears that are spoken about in a particular way with the gospel today because there are things that we simply do not understand, and even what we understand, well, it's not always clear as to what the best course of action may be. But one thing is for certain when it comes to our spiritual well-being, and that is that we listen to Jesus and be not deceived, because many will come claiming, I am he, and the time has come, as Jesus says, do not follow them. Jesus alone has shown us the way, and as the martyr, St. Andrew, the Vietnamese martyr, has shown us that they remain close to Christ, and that he, and he alone, helped them to carry their cross as it was presented to them in the 1800s in Vietnam. For us, ours is today, the cross that comes to us. And that same Jesus is there to help you and me carry our cross and remain faithful, steadfast in our prayer, faithful in our reception of our Lord in the Eucharist, that we may be a people who walk with him and share with him one day the great reward of the heavenly kingdom. With confidence, we now bring our needs, however large or small, to our loving God. For church leaders, may the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen them in shepherding their flocks. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders throughout the world, may God bless their efforts to end hatreds and violence. Let us pray to the Lord. For those facing persecution for the sake of righteousness, may the Father grant them strength and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the love of Christ help us to sow seeds that bear much fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts the world, may God heal the sick and strengthen those who care for them. Let us all, and help us all preserve in faith, let us pray to the Lord. For those that have died may rejoice in God's eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. And for the intentions of this Mass, Ralph Schulte, and Phil Bean, let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We join in our vocation prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious. As we entrust your care, 
all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of you in the hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle for victory, the, in their struggle for victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renew by the one bread as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.